So many people are cleaning up after all the damage Mother Nature left behind after powerful monsoon storms rocked the valley last night. Today, classes were canceled at Zaharis Elementary in Mesa near McCallops and Ellsworth Road. The school needs to assess all the damage caused by the storm, which packed rain, wind, thunder, lightning, even some hail. The school says it will give an update later on this afternoon. To Falcon Field now in Northeast Mesa near McKellips and Greenfield, where there was extensive damage right there at the airport. Powerful storms flipped over planes and damaged hangars. We want to give a big thanks to our 12 News weather watchers. We're getting some amazing pictures and video of this storm. Look at what Mike in East Mesa was greeted with. A lot of hail scattered right at his front door. Out in the West Valley, Will sent us this video from Peoria where lightning filled the sky. Today we have live team coverage for you on this monsoon. Stella Sun is standing by with a look at the radar, but first we want to go out live to Falcon Field where Gabriella Becerra is getting a better view of all that damage. Gabby? Well, Trem, the entire airport was affected, but particularly where we're standing on the southwest side bared some of the worst of the damage. Take a look at this hangar. You could see it lost nearly its entire roof, and this is just a fraction of the damage we're seeing out here. The city says about 20 aircraft were overturned or damaged in some way. Multiple buildings and hangars owned by both the city and private businesses were affected. We were able to see inside one of those hangars where metal had collapsed in the storm. No injuries were reported. Reported. The city and those businesses are starting to clean up and repair those buildings. Now we're assessing all the damage and our businesses obviously are, are assessing their personal damage. So we're trying to clean up debris, make sure everything is safe and uh, deciding what the priority should be for cleanup. Now, the city says they're expecting it could take days, possibly weeks to clean up and repair all of the damage. But in that time, they expect the airport will remain operational. However, some of the businesses here, those may close down while they get back to normal. Reporting live in Mesa, Gabriela Becerra, 12 News. Gabby, thank you. That is just so wild to see. It almost looks like a tornado hit that area. Let's go to the West Valley now where Goodyear got hit hard by a hailstorm. Neighbors say that just became worse and worse. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks has the latest. Hey guys, this area near 144th Avenue in Goodyear got the brunt of it. Take a look at this tree completely ripped out of the ground just down the street. You can see the rooftop sustaining pretty significant damage out here. Uh, the main intersection, Bullard Avenue and Indian School Road. One family that we talked to, the tree collapsed on their driveway, nearly missing their vehicle right here. This truck only sustained a scratch, believe it or not. No one was hurt in all of this, but look at this tree. Pretty significant damage here as well. All throughout the neighborhood, light poles down, road barriers flattened, and trees like this just moved significantly. Take a listen to what the family told us they saw and what they did when that storm moved in. Were you thinking get inside, take cover, or were you thinking we can enjoy this a little? Well, a little bit of the both. We came outside to enjoy and dance, but we danced right back inside pretty fast. So the ring video is pretty interesting. We laughed. Tell me about the rain and the wind. Was it really blowing sideways? Yeah, it went like one way and then it went back the other way. So I thought it was a tornado. Fast? Yeah. Wow. So you stuck around for a few minutes and then you thought, we got to get in. Yeah. Yeah. And then we watched through the window. And then we went in the backyard, so, and then we saw, like, there was a few trees that were knocked down in the backyard. That was Mari in Brooklyn, Amai. They've lived here for four years. They said they've never seen anything like that before. We're thankful no one was hurt. This is just the beginning, though, of the cleanup efforts. In Goodyear, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. Trisha, thank you. Well, from yesterday into today, Stella Sun is here tracking more storms in our state once again. Stella, you're seeing severe thunderstorms happening right now. Yeah, there's a severe thunderstorm warning. This is in effect just south of Maricopa. You can see on portions of I-8. So this is going to be 20 miles just away from Casa Grande. This is where they're reporting upwards of nickel size hail wind gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour. So we will be seeing some wind damage, possibly even some blowing dust. Over towards the southeastern counties, you can see also seeing some thunderstorms 
storm warnings. This will run for the next few minutes or so over towards the Tucson area, just north of Sierra Vista with a flash flood warning over portions of the 64 near Highway 89. That's going to run until 4 p.m. later this afternoon. That is where we could be seeing some life threatening flooding. So you want to turn around, don't drown. We are monitoring a really active radar, though things remain dry here in the valley for now, but we could be seeing some more strong to even severe thunderstorms in all of this green coloring. Yes, you can see it includes the Phoenix metro area, so we could be seeing some of the damaging wind gusts, even some cloud to ground lightning, heavy downpours of rain that could create some localized flooding in some of the low lying areas. Afternoon highs about that century mark here in the Phoenix area, and we are expecting more of those thunderstorms to rupture up later today. 80 degrees expected today in Globe, 70 towards the Sholo area, upper 70s in Prescott still seeing those mostly clear conditions over towards Lake Havasu, Parker, as well as Quartzsite. Tram, I'm going to continue to track all of those severe thunderstorms, what this means for you. It's a good idea to download that 12 News weather app so you can track radar. All right, thank you so much, Stella. Here's a look at more images from our 12 News weather watchers. A big thanks to Cheryl for sharing us this incredible video here, the wild conditions happening in South Scottsdale. Wow, look at how powerful the winds are. This was a scene in Goodyear near Litchfield and Indian School where trees were ripped out because of the storm. And again, just as Stella said, if you haven't done so yet, now is a good time to download the free 12 News app. You can track storms at your fingertips when the monsoon strikes.